Consistency is not the king or queen of a program. What is consistency? You're showing up every day, you're doing what's necessary to be done, and you don't miss it. Now, some would say that oh, those are the three key characteristics to a great program. You show up, you get it done, you never miss, and you just record your repetitions. Well, I say that's not all there is. If you adopt a consistent mindset, then what really pays off is picking up where you left off. And you're moving on from there. Because if you don't know where you left off and you're going to move on, you've got to get completely reoriented. You need to refigure out, well, what am I doing here? What, what is going on with my body? What do I need to stretch? What do I need to strengthen? What's, there's no overall theme that you're headed towards and chipping away at. If, if you think consistency is, is the king, is the, the queen of a program, I have to tell you that doesn't answer problems that come up and it doesn't answer creating a more mobile shoulder that can withstand anything. It, if you're dealing with a neck, you can do your neck exercises. I've been working with a couple people with concussions recently and you can work with the neck all you want, but if you don't have a strategy, if you don't have the tactics and the programming and then moving into the next stage of your programming, you're just not gonna make those changes. It's just not possible. And you can do the same program, or you can change your program every time, but if you're not picking up where you left off, which is, what's the bigger idea we're trying to achieve here? First, neck down, neck back, left to right, balance, eyes closed, one eye. You have some really clear tests that you're trying to achieve as the standard of measure for progress, and then you're, once you hit those milestones, you're moving into this next stage, and then you have milestones for that stage. And that allows you to be forward focused, but forward focused where what you've done before counts. So if you're rehabilitating a knee, which I've worked with a few people with their knees recently, and physical therapy is just not working. Why? Because the physical therapist tells them not to do exercises that are really important. I believe in the hamstrings. I believe in the glutes, but I believe in the power of the hamstrings. And if you're not listening or working with a physical therapist or with a trainer or with a chiropractor or with somebody who believes in the power of your hamstrings, I'm sorry, there's leaving, you're leaving a lot to be desired. So while consistency is one pillar, you need to look yourself in the mirror and ask you, yourself, what's my real goal here? And do I have a strategy? And am I actually working with somebody who's going to hold me accountable to a deliberate practice where I am learning the specific aspects of my body that allows me to grow into a better body. And if you can't answer that for yourself, I'm sorry, but you're lost. And you're just not getting as much out of your time, out of your energy, and out of the investments that you're making as you could be. So if you want to know more, check out DominicSessa.com. Check out my newsletter if you're not already on here. You probably are. And um, yeah, check out my YouTube for more videos, and we'll talk again soon.